YouTube Triforce Otsuka Master 2000 here. So as you can see, I got two new Nintendo Switch items or accessories and well, one accessory and one controller because uh, as you can see, this came out recently, I think two weeks ago. And uh, basically, um, what's funny is that uh, I didn't expect for, uh, for this to come out early because I thought this was going to come out on the 7th of December. Uh, because Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is not out yet. Uh, that, well, I mean, we got 18 days more left for Smash Ultimate to come out, but Nintendo just decided to release both the uh, the GameCube adapter and um, the GameCube controller, of course, as well. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to unbox both of these and test them out. I don't have Smash with me because, as I mentioned, the game hasn't came out yet, but... I needed to get both of these in time because I wanted to prepare myself for Smash Ultimate. I am a competitive Smash Brothers player, and since I'm a competitive Smash player, the only way I play Smash competitively, or Smash in general, is of course, is of course getting a GameCube controller. That's the only recommendation that I do when it comes to playing Smash Brothers games, is always using a GameCube controller. Personally, for me, um, I don't mind using other controllers, but uh, the GameCube controller is the one that I always, always, always use with any Smash Brothers game other than Smash 64 because, of course, that is an N64 game and I can't use a GameCube controller with that game. <laughs> but uh, if you know, if, if you know, if for those who are competitive Smash players, the GameCube controller is always uh, the number one recommendation for a controller for any Smash Brothers game. And for me, Says I'm a competitive, a competitive Smash guy. I needed to get this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbox both of these. So as you can see here is the adapter. Uh, the packaging, of course, is kind of the same as the Wii U uh, adapter. The only thing I'm disappointed of, and I think everyone could agree, is the way how Nintendo packaged the uh, adapter. As you can see here, they want you to cut off this tab, and I'm not a fan of that to be honest. Um, like right here, you, you're, you're forced to tear it out and I'm not, and I don't want to do that, but I brought out this knife so I can do that easily. Um, but of course I'm gonna have to pause the video so I can, uh, so I can, uh, cut, cut this out because I mean, I can't show it while I'm still filming because it's going to be hard to cut and film at the same time. So here you go. I mean, it wasn't pretty because I had to mostly cut out when I was, Cutting it with a knife, I had to cut out some parts, and I'm not happy about that. See, I'm not a fan of how Nintendo um, how Nintendo packages their products nowadays. I mean, sometimes you know I'll give it a I'll give it a pass because they do package their products pretty good sometimes, but there are times where they don't package you know they don't package their products really uh, really like really fine as they used to. But oh well, I mean it is what it is. I mean Nintendo is always known for doing you know cost measures um, you know to save costs so. I can't argue with that. I mean, you know, that is how Nintendo uh, Nintendo works, of course, when they package their products. But, oh well, it is what it is. But here it is. Here is the GameCube adapter for Smash Ultimate. And it looks the same as the Wii U one. Actually, if you have a Wii U uh, GameCube adapter, you can actually still use that on the Switch. So, for those who still have their Wii U GameCube adapters, you don't have to buy this one. But if you're a Nintendo collector like I am, then I guess you're going <laughs> to... You're going to probably go as far as to buy this just to add it to your collection. But um, I wouldn't necessarily, you know, recommend for those who already have the Wii U one because you could actually use it on the Switch. Just hook this up to the dock and yeah, you're good to go. So as you can see, it's four controller ports, of course. Um, but only one can only be on the on the dock. But uh, yeah, that's four, uh, four GameCube controller ports and the two USB connectors. Uh, of course, is the box. Let's check the box. The box does say you could use it on the Switch, and you could also use it on the Wii U for Smash Brothers Wii U. So that does work if uh, for those who uh, who still enjoy playing Smash for Wii U, which I hope nobody's gonna, of course, play Smash for Wii U anymore when uh, Smash Ultimate comes out. But yeah, you could still use it on the Wii U. Now let's check this bad boy, the GameCube controller. Whew, boy, was that actually tough, but. Here it is, and it's really tough to get this thing out of the packaging. All right, there it is. Now it's out. 
All right, here it is. Let's take it out of its packaging to show you a close view. I'm not sure how you get it. Oh, you get it out from this side. Here it is, the GameCube controller. Wow, does it still feel the same as any GameCube controller in the past? The GameCube controller, personally, to me, is my favorite video game controller of all time. I personally think that when I think of, a, of an awesome video game controller, I always think the GameCube is my number one choice. And I say that because the GameCube, the GameCube's controller... I remember when, the, when I first played the GameCube many years ago when it first came out, back in 01. I remember when I first held that controller, it felt different from what an N64 controller felt like. It felt like, dude, this is a really soft... like. Not just a soft design, but it feels like a really awesome, unique design. Like, I feel like Nintendo did a fantastic job of designing this controller because... Like, to me, it's like, dude, this this controller works for games like Smash Melee, Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion, and Wind Waker. I mean, it it just feels so damn comfortable when you when you hold it. Especially if you're, if you're a competitive Smash player, this is obviously the number one controller solution that, of course... Everyone would recommend, hey, if you if you want to play Smash competitively, the GameCube controller is your choice. Let's see the L the L and R triggers still feel the same with that same old old school click. The uh, the Z trigger, the uh, X the let me see the Y and the Y and the X buttons. I always I always confuse myself with these buttons. The A and B buttons, the C stick, the uh, start button and the small d-pad if there's only one feature i never liked about the gamecube controller it was always this d-pad because as you know i mean for those who are nintendo fans like i am you know that the d-pad has always been you know a trademark to nintendo's controllers but i feel like nintendo dropped the ball when they made this d-pad small i mean i i literally literally stated like why did why in the hell is this d-pad so damn small i don't even think a lot of games utilized the d-pad's feature some did but you know i mean like the d-pad wasn't heavily used well in most gamecube games maybe in some third party games but like first party games i don't remember you know using using the d-pad too much on first party nintendo games on the gamecube so i can't really remember what games utilize the d-pad but that is one feature i didn't like and also no no rumble on the wave bird no no rumble on the wave bird but i still love the wave bird but yeah let's see the back it's does it still have that gamecube yeah it does the gamecube logo and the nintendo logo on the right yep like an old school gamecube controller and as you can tell the uh, the uh, smash logo has been updated uh if you have the wii u controller you know that it has like a it, it does have the logo but it has like a fire uh, fire on it of course so uh, it's different it just has the smash lo the smash logo it's still it's still it's still pretty cool i'm not sure if japan is going to have another variant of the controller because i know that when smash for wii u came out there wasn't just the black one there was also a white one that came out but we didn't get that in the states i don't even think europe got it but japan got that <laughs> and i'm like we should have gotten that as well we should have gotten a white one um that would have been awesome if we had both but oh well we got the black one I'm happy to have one. I'm really excited to play Smash Ultimate. I know just a little bit more days left before the game comes out because, oh, man, I am so hyped up for Smash. I'm pretty sure everybody is who's watching this video. I mean, I know everyone, everyone's excited for Smash. I mean, I've been watching a lot of Smash videos lately on every Smash Brothers game. Um, I've just been getting myself hyped up. I mean, I've been also playing Smash for 3DS as well uh lately because i wanted to get myself hyped up and i'm so ready but uh yeah man i'm really excited to play smash ultimate also let's take a look at the cords the cord size i heard that this is longer than the original gamecube's controller cord i think the gamecube's controller cord was like i think it was like five feet i can't remember i think it was five or six feet but it, it's been years since i've actually remember the cord of the original GameCube controller, but I understand that this is supposed to be the longest GameCube controller cord ever. Sorry if I'm blocking that because my hand's hitting the camera, so I can't really, I can't untangle this at the same time and then try to, uh, <laughs> then try to, uh, yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna have to pause this again. All right, I did it. So let's see here. 
All right, let me stand up a little bit so I can actually show you, show you in person, excuse me. Wow, it is really damn long. Holy fucking shit. It's fucking long. Like longer than than any other GameCube controller cord that I've seen. I'm not I'm not sure if the Wii U version if the cord was really long, but this is really good. This is really good. Good job on you, Nintendo, for doing that. This is actually really good. Oh man, the 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 controller port cord. Uh, it actually hit me right now. It actually hit me, but here it is. Wow, look at that. That's actually cool. It's really long. Like what the hell? More longer than the the cord of the NES Classics controller. <laughs> oh man, this is this is really good. This is really good. Good job on you, Nintendo, for for doing that. All right, well, let me see the uh, adapter, and let's uh, connect it. All right, there it is. It's connected, and I am ready to play. Although I don't have this connected to my Switch, but I will test out right. I'll test it right now and see uh, see how this works. So, sit back and uh, stay tuned right now. <laughs> 